Hey, what's going on guys? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics and I'm bringing you another review, but this time on one of my custom Mezcos. This is my custom uh, Batman Asriel or Nightfall Batman, kind of depends on what you want to call them. Basically the same exact thing, uh, but this guy, awesome. I've always liked the character design of him, kind of like a, I don't know, kind of reminds me of Xanatos from Gargoyles in a way. I don't know if you guys watch that show. But anyways, it was the Ascending Night PX exclusive. Uh, Batman, the one with the pointy, long pointy ears. Yeah, don't like that. Never cared for the long pointy ears. Not a huge fan of that. So, uh, I seen someone on IG, I don't remember who, but... I mean, original credit to him. I seen him that he kitbashed it. Um, the DCUC with the Mezco. So I kind of took his recipe. Um, I, I honestly wish I would remember who it was, but I give all credit to him. I seen it probably like two months ago. I finally came up on this uh, during free comic book day. So shout out to Comic and Figure Addicts over in Union City. But before I get into my review, make sure that you listen to the latest episode of The Geek Out Show, episode 67. It's my uh, podcast that I do on the side, The Geek Out Show. You can follow us on Instagram and find us on iTunes, Podbean, anywhere that you can find podcasts. So the original figure was on a DCUC uh, body mold. Uh, not much articulation, kind of crappy to be honest. Um, so what I did is I heated up um, the armor, as you can see, popped it off right there. Uh, and I had to Dremel that out. Uh, I broke off part of this. I had to take that part out of the... This is... Uh, kind of like a malleable plastic it does move I glued it down though so um, it's not too movable uh, I glued it onto the actual figure right now and then um, I took off the gauntlets I just broke those off Dremel them out threw them on the figure uh, the hoses um, actually port on as you can see they port so I'm gonna show off a little bit of what I did I did Dremel that out as you can see I made it fit in there and it does leave the range of motion for the existing hand, which is nice. So I just dremeled it out, put it, pushed it all the way in. Um, and then for the head, I dremeled that out because it was a small little peg. So I dremeled it out so it would fit on top. Um, and as you see, I did shave down the neck a little bit. It is extremely ugly in there. Um, I made the mistake of putting the armor on first. Uh, <laughs> Hindsight's 2020, folks. Next up, I need to remember to sand down and shave down uh, the neck peg first. Dremel that out first. It does look, uh, does look really ugly, but you can't really see it when I snap it on. Can't really see it at all. See, it does hold. So I did have to cut off these little, um, the little hooks, the Bitman little blades on the gauntlets, you know. A little hook thing so I cut those off just a little pair of tweezer plier things uh, little nippers actually I uh, used nippers from a Gundam um, building kit so I just cut those right off the belt comes with the figure which is nice um, the boots come with the figure the fins I took off of the DCUC figure those came right out dremeled them down and I got them flat and just uh, attached them before I forget um, I was already done reviewing. I did forget about this. So the cape, I did snip a couple parts that were tucked underneath the cowl. So I did just use um, a little screwdriver, flathead, to pop it up right there, and then I snipped. Um, and then it just pretty much came undone off the cowl, and I was able to just like rip it off one piece so it's not that bad it's not that hard either don't be scared as you can see you can kind of see where the stitches are at so I just undid them and came off uh, clean one piece not too bad and uh, you can't tell because the armor is over the cowl now um, but you would honestly just be able to glue it back down if you did have a problem with gapping so I really do like how this uh, kit bash kind of came out it does leave all the functionality of a Mezco, which has better articulation than the DCUC, which is nice. But it does have the armor. The only thing is I kind of got to Dremel out the neck a little bit more. So I could get a little bit more range of motion because it 
is a little slightly hindered uh, due to the high collar and then also um, the original neck joint butting up against there. But other than that, I really do like how this came out. I did use a metallic chrome for the boots. I don't know. Uh, he's not like that for the DCUC, as you see. It's a flat gray, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like uh, that it matches a bit. I like that. So, as I said, I really did enjoy how this figure came out. I'll show you how the original Mezco looked next. So here goes the tin from the Mezco, and this is how he looked. And the accessories that came in there. Which is nice, which I'll use for my other uh, custom Batman Mezcos that I have. I have more than one. I will be doing a future review on the other one that I made. Uh, I really do like that Bruce Wayne head sculpt. And here goes Bruce Wayne uh, with the armor. Even though that it was Ezreal going around uh, as quote unquote Batman, um, he never wore this armor. Actually, Batman had to stop him. Um, but it was during the storyline when Batman broke his back. So he never wore this armor. Uh, it looks pretty cool though. I like it. I really do. And kind of a small little comparison of the DCUC versus the Mezco. And the Mezco definitely is beefier. It just looks better. I like how the suit fits and looks and just looks great, man. I really do like it. And just for a size comparison, here goes a uh, regular standard Marvel Legends compared to the custom Mezco that I did. And as you can see, Bruce Wayne is fairly bigger, which he should, um, or the Azrael Batman should be, because it is a man in armor. So man in armor versus man in armor, and I would totally be down for this crossover. As you can see, they're roughly about the same size. Uh, maybe the bat ears a little bit. Eh, maybe Iron Man's a little bit taller. But uh, I think they size up pretty well for two dudes, you know, in armor. Uh, obviously, this is made out of die cast, which is really nice. I would love if Mezco gave us an Azrael Batman made out of... Oh my god, I would lose my shit. Made out of die cast? That's awesome. Give us that Mezco, please. I don't know if I left off anything. I'm not going to go over articulation because, um, honestly, Mezco has the same type of articulation as, like, Marvel Legends, honestly. Um, the fabric does not hinder it at all as far as articulation. Um, if anything, I maybe hindered it a little bit, adding on the armor, um, but not much. Uh, so my next review slash uh, custom that I want to talk about and show you guys um, how to basically how to make or kit bash. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. So I could either do Armored Punisher, which is several figures in itself, or we can do the Grim Knight. You guys choose, um, let me know what you want to do. Has a couple different pieces from a few different figures. Um, some custom weapons, yeah. Let me know what you guys want. Till next time, make sure to stay geeked up and geek out.